Morning guys, November 4th, 2024, <clears throat> stoking up the wood stove, going to uh, get the place warmed up. So I built the stove about uh, 10 years ago. I was showing you guys the reason why I cut my wood so small. It's just got to fit through this hole. And this helps me to uh, control the temperature a little bit. This door closes down. The choke up above closes off the uh, pipe. Let's set it about halfway. And then I just put this down just where I can fit my finger in there to and that just makes a nice warm fire to keep the place warm not too hot not too cold with the wood being small down I'm able to control the fire a lot better that's why I kind of did it this stove the way I did this house is not all that big and once it's warm it doesn't take much to keep it warm when I built it it's all uh, R30 insulation in the ceiling it's all spray formed insulation below and then it's R19 in the walls uh, so it's pretty well insulated. Started off with the uh, <clears throat> rim from a blazer that I had. Then this is a Schedule 80 pipe that I used for the exhaust going out. It's a good heavy wall pipe. I welded a flange to it. And then I'm able to bolt it with a gasket right down to the top of the stove as you can see uh, the pipe goes out the wall and I can just take a hammer and whack on this pipe and I can just stuff with just all the crisp or whatever's in it will fall down the guys heckle and jackal and this is wood duck over here. That's the wood duck. So I built this copper. This copper piece uh, keeps the wall. This is the walls cool. No heat's getting over on the panel board, which is a good thing. It can cause warpage. And but this little stove heats my uh, house pretty damn well you can see the uh, lug wrench this jack handle that keeps tension on that door that's spring loaded I put a spring down below that holds this door shut nice and tight <clears throat> so when when I'm gonna clean it out there's a tray inside that I pull out with all the ash the whole front opens up and the tray comes out Take it out, dump it, and slide it back in. Very, very easy to clean. Not a lot of dust. I can just lay a piece of newspaper over it when I take it out, and it keeps the dust down. Uh, built that little area just for it to be in. I never finished the top. I always planned on putting something on top here, like a piece of stone. I don't know. It's little things I gotta. After all these years, I still haven't finished some of the little details got all my toys though and my dad ships my dad uh, hand drew all these he was kind of into the tall ships and uh, and then he was into carving for a little bit as you can see got the carvings and all my toys up above that I've collected over the years. This light right here came from the Newport Navy base and I made it up to go over my table here. <clears throat> I made this little uh, where I can sit down and eat. And it's another thing I never really finished. This glass is not fastened down because I haven't finished putting all the stuff that I want to put underneath here. Eventually I want to just glue it down so it won't move. Little things I still got to finish over the years. I've 
This house has a cathedral ceiling. Got the train track that runs above my kitchen. Made all these cabinets. All everything in here you see I built. The copper trim. The idea, like I said, was to uh, give me sort of a western theme. I wanted it to make look like a barn. So as you go look into the bedroom, you can see you can look right through into the bedroom and it's just a shade that drops down and that was thought to be like the horse that's the horse's stable kind of like I said it's uh, wanted to try to make it look like a barn got the train that runs up above here this train comes out of the the Anwa. this is the Anwa that I put in Got all my nail barrels and kegs up top. Rhode Island Brewing Company Special Brew out of Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Water from the Pawtucket River. Ugh. Toys, toys, and more toys for boys. This is, uh, I spent a lot of my time dusting, and it's kind of what I'm doing this morning. A lot of toys that need dusting once in a while. I got my ladder and I gotta get up and dust a lot of this stuff. A lot of times I use the vacuum with a brush on the end. Again, the Anwa, my closet. My grandfather in World War II and my uncle Manuel. And my uncle cowboy. <laughs> hey guys, cleaning my house today, so you're not gonna see any trucks. And then later on, I think I'm gonna go out and uh, shoot my rifle for a while. See what's going on here, rest of Rhode Island, guys. Hope you're enjoying your morning. <laughs> 